Peace and blessings, peace and blessings one and all. Uh, first and foremost, I give honor, thanks, and praise to God, who is the head of my life, for me being alive and well. I thank and praise him for his unmerited grace, because had I gotten what I deserve, I would be dead in my grave. But I thank God for his favor on my life, and I thank Almighty God, who is represented my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for a praying mother who prayed for a wretch like me. So I'm going to add my name to the list of people to run for city council. And after talking with my family and loved ones and talking to people in the community, as I was walking up and down the streets in various places, people stopping me and saying, and I'm asking people to support but Justin Hurst for mayor, and um, people are like, man, you should run. You should run. And um, I thought about it and prayed over it and talked to people in my network, and they said, it's, it's your turn, man. It's time to run and make it. And so with that being said, uh, I'm getting signatures now and I'm going to run for city council. Um, and I will be forthright and honest. I'm running for city council to articulate the needs of black people here in the city of Springfield. And the reason that I particularly will be announcing that and will be straightforward with that is because I understand that if you take care of the mental, spiritual, physical, and economic needs of black people here in the city of Springfield, everybody benefits. So if you create healthier communities, invest in MLK, invest in the Boys and Girls Club on Acorn Street, invest in Dunbar. If you invest in an organization like uh, Juanita Bachelor, the DLJ, Daryl Lee Jenkins Jr., Family Resource Center, dealing with people who are carrying guns and shooting guns. If you invest in those young people, um, you will have a great opportunity to bring down violent crime. You'll have a great opportunity for young people to stay in school. You will create opportunity where our young people won't be going in and out of DYS and Ludlow. If you invest in our young people, then you will see a significant change, not in the overall impact of the African-American community, but the overall impact of Springfield society at large. Um, the other day, there was a shooting on Sycamore Street. And as I was reading the article on Facebook, allegedly a 15-year-old boy did the shooting and at the same time was in the hospital seeking attention for what he had went through. And oftentimes in our city, when you hear about young black men being shot or shooting people, getting pulled over and arrested for drugs. There does not seem to be a cry, an outcry. There does not seem to be a sense of urgency in trying to help the least of those in our community. Um, and I think that that is a, a travesty is something that needs to be addressed. Um, recently, I was working and I have been working with the family of Teresa Williams. Her grandson was shot by a police officer by the name of Richard Ward in November the 16th of 2022. He took an early retirement. But in the video, it's on my Facebook page, Mass Live did an article. You can see that this young man 
was not an imminent danger or threat to the police, yet the police shot in his car. When the police announced the reason why he shot in his car, he said that he felt threatened for his life. This police officer was Ivan Rosas. However, the officer who felt threatened for his life, he never shot his gun. The black police officer, Richard Ward, shot into the car and attempted to murder Yasir Faradon. We understand in the African American community that if you violate the law, there are consequences. The consequences are you get arrested, you get a bail or not, you go to Ludlow or not, and then you have a trial by a jury of your peers. And if you are found guilty, you go to jail. We understand that and we respect that. What we don't understand and what we don't respect is you shooting four bullets in a car attempting to murder a young black man for what is perceived as a stolen car. That's a concern. And so this is why I'm running. This is why I need your help, your support. Um, and let's get busy. Let's make this change. God bless. Peace.